YouTube, it's Zandos TCG here and thanks again for watching our TCG battle video on my channel. Today we're gonna play with Rasheram GX. I already reviewed the card entirely in an episode on my channel and uh, you also get a sweet bonus rap with that video so definitely check that video out, it's in the description below. Anyhow, we're gonna use the uh, Vermilion GX strategy where we're gonna use Kiawe on the first turn, get a bunch of energies onto uh, Rasheram, use a couple of Fiery Flint. This is the new item card from Dragon Majesty. Of course, this is uh, one of those item cards that you play in order to get Fire Energies in your hand and if you have the Fire Energies she's in your hand you can just uh, rely of course on that vermilion gx to get 180 on the opponent with a choice band 210 while well, you can just attach all those energies in the hand to when you're one of your pokemon or actually to your pokemon any way you like so uh that could be a uh, nice to set up a ho-oh or maybe uh yeah one of those uh turtonators could also work out we do run choice band things like dawn wings is in here just to have that switching mechanic because Phoenix Burn, you cannot use that uh, if you use that already. So if you use Phoenix Burn next turn, you cannot rely on Phoenix Burn. So we're going to rely on the Dawnwings using Invasion to use our Guzma play. So we can uh, still rely on Phoenix Burn. Also, there's a couple of switches in here. Two switches and an Escape Pro because sometimes you might be stuck with Phoenix Burn. Also, uh, Oranguru is in here for some uh, yeah amazing draw support because uh, these cards just thin out your hand completely. Like things like Fiery Flint, Ultra Ball. That way we can just rely on the Instruct to get more cards in the hand so we don't dead draw. We have three Tapu Lilis in here together with four Ultra Ball, together with three Kiawe, together with two Mysterious Treasure. Mysterious Treasure can get out the Dawnwings or the Lele, so we have a lot of chances of hitting that first turn Kiawe. You might add in an extra Kiawe or an extra Lele depending on your playstyle, but I think this is just enough. We have four Goosebumps to target everything we possibly want, and we have 13 energies to work with. Not only that, we can get the energies back if we uh, use uh, the Victini Prism Star Infinity, uh, Infinity, which deals 20 damage for every basic energy in our discard pile, and then we can shuffle those cards back into the deck. So that will be the deck, the deck that we're gonna play with today. Tatanalyze is also very nice to switch our uh, Ho-Oh if it's stuck in the active. If you want to reuse Phoenix Burn and you have something to manually retreat like a Victini or maybe a Tapu Lele. Okay, that is the deck for you today. So uh, we're, uh, we're still exploring Dragon Majesty and its uh, entire hole. We already reviewed or actually uh, played with the Wishy Washy deck. Definitely check that video if you are interested to see how Wishy Washy can actually uh, destroy Zoroark. That is, uh, might sound weird, I know, but uh, yeah, it looks like I'm getting a random chest here because of uh, me playing uh, a match 3 4. I think it was yesterday. It doesn't even matter too much. We're gonna click on Reshram Ho Oh. Be careful of Reshram Ho Oh because Reshram hits for weakness. Uh, it hits for weakness against Matagross, Duskmane, Goliath, Stack Attack, uh, the Sij Y. Uh, there's a lot of things you hit weakness for. Shift Tree. So this is a very great time to be at the moment. And uh, the Reshram deck actually already won a League Cup uh, in my local area. So don't underestimate the Reshram deck. And we're facing off against Metal. So you're gonna see entirely how good fire can actually be so we're gonna play a couple of rounds with Reshiram and Ho-Oh -Oh and see how we go from there the bad thing is we lost the coin flip that means we will be stuck in the active with a bunch of energies because we're gonna rely on the first turn Kiawe if we have it in the opening hand I cannot promise you guys that we will always get it in the opening hand but this is a consistent list with four ultra ball two mysterious treasure three Lele and of course three Kiawe that means we have a lot of uh, yeah chances to draw in that in that opening hand with uh, of course a Kiawe Hopefully we also get a, a first turn basic Pokemon because we can also run things like Nazbolt to get a basic, otherwise we use Kiawe on nothing. So we start with a Victini Prism Star and a Judge, or how could it be? DCGO Shuffles are back. Hopefully we draw into a Lele, Ultra Ball, Mysterious Treasure, Kiawe. I don't even want Kiawe at this point because starting with a Victini is just so, so bad. Not only can the opponent uh, knock this guy out uh, very, very quickly, we don't have a late game and a yeah, sweeper with infinity. So we would have to judge the opponent. He is playing metal though, so at least that is comfortable to know. And uh, metal decks don't rely on double carless energy unless they're playing something like a scissor deck. Cynthia straight from the bat. That is a good sign. Hopefully he doesn't bench anything too crucial. This is a, uh, yeah, an uh, Ultra Beast box. Energy on the Poipole, and it looks like we're gonna have to judge the opponent immediately since our opening hand is terrible. We cannot even rely on Kiyawe. So I don't know if we can uh, manage to get the win here, but at least we can uh, get a lot of damage on board. Nagdada is something we cannot one shot immediately. Okay, we have a Reshiram to work with. At least we have that, right? Energy coming on. I don't want to put energies on the Victini here. Just gonna put an energy here. Maybe we can rely on uh, the flame charge if we have a switch. Here comes the judge. Come on, switch. We have a Nazbol or a Guru. Okay, at least we can start doing something. He only has four cards in the hand, and while we can just rely on Nazbol, what do we need? We have a Ho Oh, we have a Lele, we have a Dawnwing, so we can save our. Dawnwings doesn't even attack. We have 
Dirtinator. What do I want? Reshiram. Oh, we already have a Reshiram. Dirtinator can accelerate energy, so maybe that is a solid option. Hmm, difficult, difficult. Just gotta get out Dirtinator. You never know when it might come in handy, that energy acceleration. Here we got, have the Guru unstruck for one. Let's see what we get. And it is a draw supporter for next turn. Wow. That is just terrible. At least next turn we can flame charge ourselves up. Okay, ultra out of space. Probably gonna see Nag and Adele. Hopefully we can just... Our Kiawi start is just terrible. We don't have a Kiawi start. So hopefully next game we will get that Kiawi start. To, I can showcase the deck at its full glory. But for now, if you don't have a Kiawi start, this deck is not as good as it seems. Titan Liza will just help us using flame charge. So hopefully opponent doesn't target anything he needs. A full bench in order to one-shot Victini, and I don't think he's going to be able to do that here. Definitely with a Lele in the active position. He also needs to get it out of the active position. He only has four cards. So that first turn Judge might have helped us as well. Even if he benches something like Stack Attackers, we can easily target that. And as soon as we got Reshiram set up, we're good. Hopefully we can use a Kiawi here. One Kiawi is all I need to get this uh, rolling here. He could also use Lele to attack, but he needs two energies. Okay, there is Kartana coming its way. That's a baby Kartana, because as uh, in the early phase of the game, this Kartana deals uh, 130 damage. That is quite a lot. So he also gets a frying pan onto that. Not that we mind too much. Let's use Ultra Space to just check what is in here. Nothing interesting indeed. So I will just attach an energy to Victini while I rely on Tate and Liza to shuffle our hand into our deck so we can use Flame Charge next turn. We have a Kiawe finally. Wow, that didn't do anything. So we switch. Boom, we get uh, this out for the memes of it. We get a choice band onto here. So we can instruct for one. Wow. We didn't even use Kiawe here. So we have an energy for next turn. So we flame charge. Get two energies from the deck. It's at least something uh, Reshiram can do here. And then it's up to the opponent. He can swing with his baby Kartana. If he has a Kuzma, he can target 130 on whatever he wants. But we have the upper hand here. We can use the Reshiram finally. Okay, he has an energy. Does he have a switching card? He needs switch. Tate and Liza. Guzma, or is he just gonna pass the turn because he's bringing Stack Attacka? Cool. Stack Attacka is something we could target if we top deck something like a Guzma would be fantastic, or an Ultra Ball, or a Mysterious Treasure, or whatever. You know how it goes. It's a switching card. Who would have known? Okay, he switches to what? Stack Attacka? Now he's just gonna scoop. That was the wrong play. He needed to switch to this Cartana so he could have dealt 130? I don't know why. Okay, he scoops here, so that was kind of weird. He would have dealt damage while we just come to use that Vermilion Jax, get some energies into play. You know how we would have gone. We're gonna play another round. Nothing happened here. We didn't have that first turn Kiawe, so we disregard that first match. We just got a hold of how the deck functions without Kiawe. Very, very, very bad. Hopefully now we face something like Zoroark. Okay, Zoroark, Golisopod with the Dene. We can take that. He has a San Francisco deck box, a world player, Poke Power 22. We won the coin flip and winning with a coin flip if you're playing Ho-Oh, is huge. I cannot stress enough how huge that is. So, nothing in the hand. In this hand, we would have gotten a first turn Kiawe. All right. Come on. What else might we possibly get? Opening hand Kiawe and Ho-Oh. And a Nazbol. And a, yeah, and a Guzma. That is fantastic. We can use Kiawe on the restaurant here, not on the Ho-Oh. Then we can just use the Mysterious Treasure to get something out. Okay. First turn, Nest Ball. Here we go. We get out Reshiram, one copy of that. And now we're going to rely on the first turn, Kiawi. But first, I just want to see here. We can also use Ultra Ball to get Oranguru into play. Oranguru might be nice. We often also have a Judge, so we might just wait with our hand. He might just uh, disrupt us or anything. Here comes all the energies. Onto the Reshiram. Here we go. So Reshiram is already prepped. The only thing we need to do is use Fiery Flint or whatever to just get some energies in the hand so we can start using Vermilion to set up Ho-Oh. 
that is the main strategy. You could also use, the, of course, yeah, with the Mysterious Treasure, we can get the Dawnwing to Dawnwing, so we can Guzma onto ourselves, whatever. It doesn't even matter too much. Okay, Deoxys, and the amount of energies attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that is a lot. We're definitely gonna target that Deoxys. Or do we target the, the little Zoroark for our draw consistency? You can draw turn after turn after turn. We're gonna have to wait and see how it is. Oh, he judges us. Fine, I guess. Our Reshiram is set up. The only thing we need to do here is get him. Okay, we have an escape rope. That's cool. And a fiery flint. Awesome. And even a uh, mysterious treasure for a Lele. So that is a very, very great opening hand. Or actually, a judge. We can uh, get out of the active, use fiery flint, discard Ho Ho as something else, and use a Lele to get along with that. We have Tate and Liza. We don't have a draw support. We can get four energies in the hand, which is awesome. So, okay, I want to get some knockouts here, so just gonna use escape rope. He's not gonna get the one shot immediately, 180 is quite, kind of a lot to hit. This Deoxys hits for 100, 130 at max, so we don't even need Fiery Flint in this situation, but we could set up another Ho-Oh. I wonder what he's gonna pick. Probably a Zorua. Wimpod, okay, we can dig that. Fire Flint is not something I want to use right now. So, oh man, I'm in a struggle here. Bench another Ho-Oh? -Oh. I don't know. Maybe a Tate and Liza would be uh, preferably better to use right now. We can also go hard with Vermilion GX and then Scorch. Ah, I don't know, I don't know. We can get the Dawnwings out. But there's Zoroark, that's not something we're gonna do here. So I think we're just gonna bench a Ho-Oh so we don't drop into that. And then we're gonna use Tate and Liza to shuffle our hand into our deck. I know it might seem wrong to do that, but we need more than that. Okay, we have another Kiawe to work with. Energy onto Ho-Oh. Now our hand is just terrible. Uh, yeah, we have Dongwings and Guzma play, so that could work if he gets out something. We don't, we don't even have Choice Band yet. We need to top deck a choice band, or we just gonna Guzma something else. So we get... Come on! Fire energy. Not the best card ever. But we at least can retreat manually with the fire energy, so we don't have to get out Dawnwings. Fiery Flint would be fantastic. We could have also relied on the Vermilion GX with the Fiery Flint combo. But that way we would have used our GX move already. And now we can use GX move on the Lele, which is already on board here, so that's cool. Cynthia, so we can Guzma out this Lele, knock this Lele out, and while this Lele is out, we want to set up Ho-Oh. Presumably have, we only have one energy in the hand. If we have another one, it would be fantastic. Ultra Ball. Also, a good thing about Reshiram is that it hits for 130, actually for 110, but with the burn damage 130, so baby boss and stuff also gets very, very destroyed. A lot of destruction going on with Reshiram, so he's gonna rely on this uh, Deoxys. Not that we mind too much here. We're just gonna Guzma out. If we top deck a Choice Band, it's fine. If we top deck um, a Fire Flint, it's also fine. I wonder. Trade. He's digging for his double Carlos energy. <laughs> Glizzapod already in the discard pile. Very, very clever. We have not seen any Choice Band whatsoever. And no draw support besides the, the one copy of Tate and Liza. So we're searching for Cynthia. Okay. Zoroark number 3, so 3 Zoroarks facing us down, if he still doesn't get the DCE, it's ridiculous. There might be a couple of prizes, a couple of DCE prizes, that can happen. Still don't see the attachment. Coco? <laughs> yeah, we don't see the attachment. Okay, we're good. We can switch and boost my combo, that is fantastic. Or we can use Kiawe to set something up. Nah, I just want to destroy stuff with... Okay, what do we destroy? We switched and Guzma so we can use Guzma. Huh. Okay. Was that the correct play? I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe we knock out one prize attackers. Maybe we don't. 130 and burned. 130 and burned. 
I wonder here. If I use Kiawi right here, is it, is it the better strategy? I think so. We still have one extra move to work with, so we're gonna set up this ho-ho -oh right here. I was doubting to use Guzma here, but now we have two fully charged up GX as well. The third one is ready, so the only thing we need to do here is stop back our choice bands and we can destroy everything we want. Well, he has to two-shot everything in our field. And we have the Dawnwings play, so we can Guzma out everything we want. We can one-shot the Lele, one-shot the Zoroark, if we have a choice band. He whiffed the DCE, which means we had two turns of Kiawe, so now all our energies are ready to play. If we see them in the discard, Victini Prism Star might come out of nowhere. Where is the DCE? He doesn't suspect that I had Kuzma, so that's a good thing. So he had Max Potion, so targeting Lele with that burn damage would have been not good at all. Joy's banned. We have 190 HP, so... Don't think he. Where is that? Where is double carless energy? Okay, the double carless energy is here. That's 80 damage. We can take that. That's fine. Come on. This guy has 190. We can use 180. Vermilion Jax is something I want to wait with. Do we even need Vermilion GX? I'm just gonna go with this flow. I'm gonna use my GX move. I know. Because with this, I think Ho-Ho is better. It has 190 HP. Do we do that? Oh yeah, let's go for it. Otherwise, Ho-Ho couldn't attack with Phoenix Burn. Now we can manually retreat and get another KO here. Kui and energy. That means we dish out 200 damage. That is still not enough. Pressure I'm also with not tweak to Coco, which would have slide in immediately right here. This Ho-Oh is looking very grim. We only need to take three more prize cards, so we need our choice band immediately. Don't see any choice bands. Okay, Cerola going away. Powered field. I don't know what this deck is that capable of. It's a two shotting deck while we one shot, so very scary for the opponent. And if he relies on Lele, that's another Kuzma free KO here. We run four Kuzma, so only one in the discard. Three Zoroark GX and still not getting what he wants. I don't know what he's what he's searching for. He can get there with Kakui and a full bench and a devoured field. That would be crazy. <laughs> Could happen. There's already one the power field in this discard pile. Uh, might, might be bright. I don't know what the opponent already has. This E. That is right now 130 damage. Guzma. Yeah, that's the ho oh. -oh. oh, it's a different ho oh. Different ho oh. Cool. Well. A righteous beating on this ho oh. Okay. Cool, I guess. We have a Guzma to work with again. I'm gonna get an energy over here. We could Kukui, but I'm gonna wait with that. Let's target flying flips or ah, let's target this guy. And this is now we can do a shot 100. He might judge us, I don't know. But judge would be crazy. These guys can be stuck in the active so yeah the scorch what's the attack called scorching column the burn gets the KO well we take one prize card we just need a choice man man fire energy is also good now we have two attacks with ho oh and we can snipe with ho -Oh. don't forget that <laughs> wow this deck is awesome it just runs through a lot of opponents if they cannot one shot they're good this deck is very, very amazing. Uh, usually it's just like Kiawe and then you just stream roll with the Vermilion GX, but we didn't use the Vermilion uh, GX combo with Fiery Flint, we used two Kiawe, so that could also happen if the opponent whiffs like an energy. Definitely let's check out the list. If you like the list, be sure to let me know in the comment section below. I uh, designed it myself from scratch, so uh, hopefully you guys like it. Titan Lies is our fun. 
but uh, we do whiff a little bit here as you see wow he's almost decked out and he still needs to take six more prize cards that's three KOs and he can draw four cards that means yeah if he trades another time he's done for unless he has a shuffle card like Cynthia or Judge <laughs> look at all our Pokemon being set up here we have two Ho-Ohs to work with and one Reshiram Now he needs to like KO a Ho-Oh and he just have to, has to hope that we don't hit uh, an energy and a choice. Now we already have energy in the hand, he wants to maybe judge us, but that would help us since we don't have a perfect hand either. Now check that discard, the Galisopod. He's running the weird Galisopod. Shuffle this Pokemon all cards attached to it into your deck. Maybe that is weird. Okay, he targets Ho-Oh. targets the Ho-Oh. We don't promote Ho-Oh just yet. We wait till we hopefully draw a good card like Choice Band, Field Blower. That could also work. Get rid of that. Uh, the energy comes over here and now we just use Kakui and hope for the Choice Band. Come on Choice Band, where are you at? Mysterious Treasure. What can we get with a mysterious treasure? Maybe a Marshadow could be in here, would be fun. We have a Lele, and with that Lele we can get the Guzma. He definitely needs to like Ace roll up ASAP. But if he comes in with Wimpot, yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. We're dealing 130. Definitely don't gonna retreat here. Boom. 130 would burn as 150. That means he's healed from the burn. We only sniped 50. We need to use Tapu Lily Guzma here. So if he has to ace Rola here. While also targeting this guy. I don't think he can Guzma and Ace Rola at the same time. So hopefully we got the game here. We have Tapu Lily in hand. He has zero cards left in the deck. He needs to play a Shuffle Supporter right away. Otherwise, he's decked out, which is also a loose condition, by the way. The only thing we need to do is knock out the Zoroark. We still have lots of cards in the deck, so we're kind of in an advantage position here. Zoroark. That's a Floor Lily. Cool. Secret Rare Max Potion. Three Guzmas already played. He's definitely playing another one. Okay, he has a rescue stretcher. Interesting. I thought he was decked out for sure. So now he puts three Pokemon back in. Probably, yeah, Galissapod and Lele. Not that it's gonna help him too much. He can trade one more time to get a realize spot out, but he's not gonna do that. He's weak to fire. He knows that. Or is he? Or is he? What is going on here? Maybe he needs a DCE. He's weak to fire, doesn't he know? Retreat and use the GX move. Oh, he's going to the bench. Okay, you can dig that. And if he goes to the bench, we go after him with Tapu Lele. Oh wow, going after Ho Oh. We have two Kuzmas in our discard pile, but we have a Lele in hand. <laughs> Whatever he does, he's stuck. If uh, I do think there's still another Guzma left in our deck. I'm gonna go for Armor Press, not gonna, not gonna help him too much. Because our attack damage output is 110, which means 220. Or is it before or after weakness? After applying weakness, which means 220 minus 20 is uh, 200 with the burn, which means uh, it turns out to a one hit KO. So he's just stalling, I guess, or just thinking about, oh, this is a game loss. We have Tapu Lele Guzma. Does he gonna stick there? Wow, what's happening here? Looks like the game froze. He's gonna say, well played, I guess. Yeah, there's nothing he can do. So there's two options. 
His Galisopod can use the armor press for 130 knocking out our Ho-Oh while being here and that uh, makes sure that after applying weakness and resistance he gets 20 less damage and we deal 110 damage times 2 because he's weak which means minus 20 is 200 with the burn as a KO. If he goes to the bench with his uh, GX move crossing cut, we go after him with Tapu Lele Green Muscle. That is game. So hopefully you guys enjoyed our TCG match on the channel. Uh, if you did, be sure to demolish the like button as always and subscribe for more content like this. Looks like TCG O freezes here for a little bit, but we know we already got the win here. So anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you guys in the next TCG video.